Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. Listen, I'm gonna try to make this review short. I done went through hell today. And um, I got to go do my foot exercises. Yeah. <laughs> and all that, and put my boot on. Long story, you don't wanna hear about it. All y'all care about is the have and the have nots. And I will say, once again, the scenes are too and freaking entirely long um, yep. for no reason. Yep. Candace still don't know that her son is dead. Crazy. The fume is coming up. Yep. The Undertaker about to go get the body. Picked out the casket, the funeral date. Matter of fact, the friend will come and go, and, and Candace ain't gonna, still ain't gonna know. She's still gonna be in that bed. Yep. On her back. <laughs> I'm done with it. But anyway, but did y'all see the guy doing trailer? Well, not really a trailer, but it was like a mini trailer to me for Green Leaf. Oh, y'all see Skanks got his tail whooped? Who did the church people find out he stole the money? Yeah. Wrong <laughs> show. Yeah. Have a have not nice railroad. <laughs> so listen. Charles Obama crazy as hell. He crazy as hell. He got two, he got two two personalities. I said last week. I said when his eyes turned dark. I said yeah. He got a certificate for that kind of crazy. Yeah. See, he Charles when he the president, but when he did the president, evil, yet, he chuck it. And that's what he said. <laughs> so all of a sudden, Secret Service is going through the laptop. They done found five years of stalking material on the laptop. And Candace said, this ain't my stuff. I don't know what's going on. So we all know that that's Oscar's bullshit. Yeah, that's Oscar, going yeah. On. So <laughs> he looks over at Secret Service and he said, hmm, what did that last girl get that tried to do this to me? And I said, oh, yeah, so this don't happen to life. you before? Said, said life. life. He said, hmm. And we sent it to what, Guantanamo Bay? If I said it right? I don't, I'm too tired to care. If you said it right, they somebody, sent her look, overseas. Look, if you said it wrong, somebody gonna tell you in the comments. Yes. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. We Ooh. love y'all, but Lord have mercy. Sometimes look down there. We get the same comment corrected us 15 times a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know. Half the time we know when we did it. Sometimes <laughs> it might be a way to make y'all comment. Have you ever thought of that? Mm. Let me stop. But anyway. <laughs> Got him. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he said, you know what? We tore this room up in there because at some point she had got handcuffed by um, Secret Service. And um, once she was handcuffed, he told you know Secret Service, go ahead and leave us alone. We need to talk. He said, okay, so what do you want? He said, because I don't clear this room, you know, toss it up and down. You don't have nothing on me. Went through the tapes. You didn't do nothing down in the lobby. You didn't even go to the business center. You ain't even use a copy of it. Mm -hmm. Only thing you had was that recording that you had of me, which is now you raised it. Uh, I did it. Yep. So what is it? She said, I like you. He said, come again. Lie. See, you lie. You a lie. What's really going on? Said, because I seen you talking to that dude, and he really wants to set me up. She said, no, I promise you, I like you. He said, let me, let me go ahead and cut to the chase. My name is Charles... Such and such Obama. <laughs> um, and your name is Cat uh with Candace, whatever young. He said, not on we said not not on my level. Or, or not in the league, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your name is not in this league. And she was like, huh? He said, listen, let me go ahead and tell you. When I pull Usher Raymond's um medical records to find out he had herpes, I I pulled Joe's too. <laughs> and you clean, good to go. He said, I knew that from when I met you down in the lobby. I, said, I knew God. your intentions already. Don't. He said, but what had happened was, I like to have me a safe, secure, nice little piece that I can come home and get my rocks off to. Yeah. So I said, oh, you the most beautiful no. woman i ever seen. He said, one of the spots. One of my spots. One of my spots. I mean, said, well, God, don't. Yeah. He said, so basically he told Candace, you are a mark. Don't even try to play me. I already played you. And he said, oh, and you do do it well. And he said, why don't you go ahead and take your clothes off now? She said, wait a minute. I'm no, not I'm in the mood. mood. He said, you don't call the shots. I lead. I sit in the power chair <laughs> in this one. So if I want you to take off your clothes, you will take off your clothes. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> once again. I said, is he, a, is he a rapist? I said, no, don't do this again, Tyler. Don't, 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 don't want with this basket. And Candace said, but you were so nice yesterday. He said, oh, but what you saw a while ago, that was Chucky. Chucky. 
He said, you know, he comes out every now and then uh -huh. he wants to play. He <laughs> said, you know, don't ever um, underestimate me. I said, Jesus Christ. She said, this is the first time I've seen Candace get bit by her own game. No, it's not. She no. got bit by her own game all the time. No, I'm talking about in this fashion. This this fashion in the likeness that I ain't never seen before. She thought that she had this dude under lock and key. Now, she knew she bucked up when he found out about the recording. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee she had some other plans because she thought he was a naive senator mm -hmm. from wherever he from. I said, you better watch that, out for them ones that look like they nice. Them the ones that are cut yeah. you with a butter and knife. And now she found out he crazy. She don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I said... Darn I mean, he read her life. He said, oh, you've been prostituting. Yeah. You just win the money out of all these big people. Her college life. Yeah. Said, matter of fact, your last doctor checkup was four weeks ago. He said he pulled it up when he pulled ushers up. Said, God, don't. I know your said. shoe size. You wear a size six and a half. So I said, okay. So Obama said, let me, let, let me tell you this. I'm the boss. Yeah, I ain't gonna just don't ever chip forget. off the box. Yeah, I know what's going on. You, he said, you know, you think you're the first player to try this game? He's nah. Not. And I said, Secret Service, Lord have mercy. So then we see Landon. Landon is on his staff now. Mm -hmm. On um, Charles Obama's staff. He came knocked on that door. When he opened that door up and he saw Candace laying in that bed, Landon was like, oh, hell oh, no. This ain't what you want. Nah, yeah. But what he didn't realize is that you work. For the devil. Yeah. He already up on game and he yeah. know who we got in the bed. <laughs> Landon said, listen, there's been a shooting near where you go speak at. Some little girl got shot. You need to speak on the family. He said, I'm not going to use this family's use grief. As an opportunity to come up in the campaign. And I can appreciate I that. I said, thank you, Trump. I, I hate when people try to use other people's misfortune. misfortunes to get ahead. I, 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 nah, you, nah, I don't, I, I'm not for that. So he said, no, I'm not going to do that. Landon said, well, I think you should be on your way. Charles Obama said, oh, I heard you. Yeah, you work for me, player. He said, but it's my job to keep you on task and to keep you on schedule. He said, I got this. You can go ahead and leave. Landon said, but I need you to go ahead and come with me now. He looked at him and said, you, you still remember that? Yeah, and, and, you, and you see that I'm having a, a, a private conversation with right here. With this young lady right here? I'm trying to line up this puss for the night, so you need to go down the hall yeah. and I'll be with you later. I said, Landon, stay in your lane. So you couldn't stay in your lane when you was working for Maggie Day. And she dead. And she dead. <laughs> you gotta be lucky that you ain't dead. <laughs> yeah, God do <laughs> So Demonica goes over there to the hospital to visit Melissa. Oh, Tyler, Tyler be just up. cutting corners. He right now, he don't give a fuck. He going on over there to BET and he going, we yeah. hear beeps, but she ain't hooked up to nothing. Mm -hmm. Beep. Yeah, I don't see nothing. <laughs> Unless they up underneath them covers, but I don't see nothing. So Veronica D. Monica said, look, you put my grandchild in great danger. Don't you ever do that stuff again. Melissa said, I'm sorry. She said, yeah, I know you're sorry. <laughs> don't you ever try it. No more. She said, and Melissa said, well, I really wanted to be with my father. I just want to be with my father. She slapped a living piss out of her. Three times. She said, listen. You don't want to be with your father because if you would have, if you did want to do it, you would have did the job right. You would have took that razor, dug it in deep, deep inside of your wrist. So all you want is some sympathy and some pity, and that ain't what you're gonna get from me. But she nah. said you're taking, you try it one more game, and she said I'm gonna make sure I do it right. I'm gonna show you hell in the likeness that you, you ain't, ain't never, never seen, seen before. before. She said, Have you? She, I thought she was gonna say, Have you ever heard a dead man walking? She said basically. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. But you still going to be alive. Yeah, you're going to be in a catabolic state. So you're going to be, the machine going to be breathing for you. And you're going to hear everything. I said, oh my God. I said, wait a minute. This sounds like, like some you about evil possession some. or something. You know? Well, you know she is. Yeah. So then she looks at the girl one more time and she said, listen. Remember what I said. Try it again and I'll throw you off a goddamn roof. Throw you off the roof. But don't worry. But she pissed. I come back and I revive you. She pissed me Just to off. Put you in hell again. When she was trying to be sympathetic and hoping that she'd be sympathetic about her dead and dying, she was like, Psh, "People die, uh -huh. all right, every day. He just another Negro dead." I was like, "I said, did you? You just sound you like the cop killer." Yeah. Like it's another. I one mean, no, the cops that yeah. kill. That's what I meant like, to say. What? 
Lord have mercy. Melissa did buck at her though. Bucked at her and got slapped? Yeah, she ain't buck hard enough though. I said, uh uh, did you save a razor blade somewhere? Slash her I, out. I'm gonna make a prediction. I got I got a feeling she gonna, Melissa she gonna kill her. Yeah, she's gonna try to kill her. If she don't kill her, she gonna try. You watch what I mm. say. So the feel um Barry Wyatt is over there. <laughs> the funeral director looked at the funeral director here in the area that do all the black people's name Barry White. Yeah, they say Barry White wants your body. body. <laughs> so Barry White is over there getting um doing the funeral arrangements. They picking out the casket or whatever. And first thing the Hannah says was, "How much is the casket gonna cost?" Didn't your good girlfriend tell you that she was gonna take gonna care pay of it? for? It. I said, "She's hey, the bush no, get. I need to take care of it." You ain't got no money. You did you forgot? Just you ain't got no broke. job. You ain't got no house. You ain't got no uh, uh freaking car no more. No nothing. Yeah, you. She do got a car though. Yeah, you broke. Yeah, she do got a car. You broke, busted, and disgusted, and still won't pay. Yeah. With what? You gonna start braiding hair on the side? <laughs> I'm. Hair just gets on my nerves. Even in her grief, this time she started to get on my nerves. Last week she get she got it. She was good. So then um, of course after it's all said and done, she tries to call Benny again. Mitch is on the phone. Mitch came and I were for Skip. Poor Mitch. And by this time, Catherine had came around the corner and she took the telephone. She said, Mitch, what's going on? Mitch said, listen, I'm going to tell you, but do not tell her. Benny in jail. Yeah. She Five. said, and he what? said, is there anything that you could do to help him get out? Catherine said, take my number. I'll make a telephone call. We can see what we can do. Now, by this time, Hannah noticed something ain't, gonna, ain't right by the sun. Yeah. And she keeps asking Catherine, what's going on with my son? Catherine said, he good, he all right. Yeah, he's straight. Leave it alone. Eventually, she just got on her nerves so bad. He in jail. He in jail, God darn it. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's go. So, of course, Hannah goes and runs out the door like, what you going to do? Like, where you going? What you got? I don't know. So then we see Wyatt. Wyatt don't raise from the dead. I said, so <laughs> you just raised from the dead. And you just can go home. And you can just go home. And all I said. All willy nilly like Mike B said. All willy nilly and everything. So I said, is Anna going home with you to make sure that you still on well, the path of She said she was going around to get the car. So. You remember they told me I had to get the car for you when you had that surgery? Which one? Over at the hospital over there. And you came out there. You was, you was so doped up on that medicine. You wanted to carry your pocketbook. You wanted to oh, drive. Oh, no, that's when I had, um... Oh, is it a wisdom? That's my wisdom teeth. Oh, you don't want to talk about wisdom teeth. Nah, no, my wisdom teeth. Your story is hilarious. Keep, keep it moving. No, my. Hey, hey, I ain't mean to bring that up. So, <laughs> yeah, so then we see Jim come in there. Jim being Jim. You got two... Two annoying men in the same room together. Now, Jim was this nice understanding loving caring father last week now this week he's jim the a-hole yeah what are you doing Wyatt? where are you going am i not allowed to love my, my son? son why is it you don't give a rat say about me you just yeah. want to know where my where the money at and all that yeah he you said, don't want me to testify yeah and you don't want me to testify against you he was like no that's not it you gonna go home and you gonna detox you gonna do all that good stuff by yourself why i said yes i am and why do you care? Because you ain't never cared before. He said, I do care. He said, um, the last time that I that you needed me, I wasn't able to be there for you. Because I was locked up. Why? I said, yep. <laughs> and I, I put, put you there. there. So, if you don't mind, I got somewhere to go. I got to go. The car's being pulled up. I can't be late. I got to get up out of here. So, Jim said, well, well before that car come, uh, that money. I know you got uh -huh. it over there. So there I said, uh-huh, daddy. There's a manipulation right there. You got it over there in them offshore accounts. Please give it back to your mama so that we can help you help yourself. Yeah, so we you invest the money and give you an allowance every month. Well, I looked at him like, so really, this will be this is what yeah. we doing. You think you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? And then as soon as on Wild Left about that, he get he calls Oscar. Oscar, Jam Choir. What are you doing to get that money back? My son is on a good path and he is going to piss it away if you don't get it back. Oscar said, I got a plan in motion. He said, but I need to know what it is. I said, would you stop talking down to people if you want them to help you? Yeah, always doing that. So then Oscar said, listen, I can't tell you what the plan is, but all I can tell you is, listen, my track record speaks for itself. Didn't I get you your, your same point too back? Yeah. Uh. So Jim was like, look, you only as good as your last success. I said, well, that was it. So he, he pretty good got doing yeah. it in my book. 
Next thing we know, we see Oscar standing outside. And it looked to me like Anna was going to him. And I said, I knew they were working together. Uh -huh. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> but not really. Because when she walked up to Oscar, she said, do I know you? He said, yeah, no, no. But I do um, have I an know. offer for you. I got you. an offer. I said, you going around making... I said... I'm going to start calling him Oscar Offer Up. <laughs> <laughs> offer Up. That's it. Uh-uh. So, DeMonica goes to see Benny. And Benny was like, listen... I don't know what y'all playing around here. I don't know what's going on around here. Secret Service Sir, was in here asking, asking me all questions. Crazy questions. Wanted, me some, wanted my DNA first. They said I could go. Then they said I, I need to stay. Demonica said, but ain't none of this in your records. Yeah, what's going on? None of that on the paperwork. She said, listen. Um, Who could have been doing something like this? Who could be railroading you? Because this is way above anything that I've ever seen yeah. happen before. He said... The only people I know in power like that is you and David. And she said, well, I wouldn't do something like that. I ain't got no reach like that. I'm bad now, but I ain't and that she bad. Said, David <laughs> don't have no reach like that. Benny said, listen, I know I put it on you good and all of that. But what you're not going to do is hold that over my head <laughs> to make me do whatever you want me to do by having these crazy charges put on me. Mm. So she lets him know, said, no, they're trying to charge you for murder, but it's all crazy. It's pending one minute, processing the next, mm -hmm. Secret Service the next. She said, listen, I just don't know what's going to happen, but I'll get to the bottom I'll of it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, so in the meantime, just go ahead and wait here. Wait for them to process you out like they did Ghost last week. You know, he ain't out yet, so y'all might get out at the same time. Yeah. There's going to be a um, release party for OJ, Ghost. Benny, Ghost. It was somebody else on that got doing, um, and it's going to be at R. Kelly's house. So, over 18, y'all go and have your burner phone just in case you need to call somebody to come get you. So, look, all them girls of age, uh, it is what it is. I'm sorry. Then, then Veronica put it on. She said, and when you, when I get you out of here, we're going to talk about who put it on who. And guess what? You're going to have to work off this retainer. Say, well, God turn. So then... We see Jeffrey, you know, because he had to get him a room, too, because David told him last week, get your room, and I'll come over there, and I'll see about you. Well, who follows him to his room? Justin, Justin Timberlake. Stalker. He was like, listen, your mama approached me under the stairs, the, the devil in the red dress. <laughs> she said, is she going to tell my wife, would she do something like that? She said, she tell hell she yeah, would. she do that. <laughs> yeah, she'll do it in a heartbeat. Do you see the predicament I'm in right now? He was like, man, we can't let her do nothing like that. Um, Jeffrey said, you know what, Justin? I appreciate it. I, I, you know, I like how you came over here. You trying to do, you know, curve Trying to be right. You know, trying to get your life together. But you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, because you followed me. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I don't like that. He said, but I didn't call. So am I doing better? I mean, like a little puppy dog. He. I said, what is happening here? She, he got him wide open. He wide open. I said, open. oh my God. So Jeffrey told, ended up telling um, Justin Timberlake, said, listen, you can go. He said, but do I got to go? Uh, and then he tried you, to. You going you to you call me? Just, you, he said, no, get off me. Go. Go. You scared the living piss out of me. I said, you got you a god doing obsessed. I'm like, what in the hell did you do to that boy? Put on good. And then we see David and Erica. They out there for coffee. Now, they, they they having that awkward talk yeah. after you've had a session that didn't go quite the way you wanted it to go. Yeah, there wasn't no ending, no closing. Yeah, so she apologized for the other night. She was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to go that way. We had that dark liquor, and you know what that <clears throat> dark liquor do. And you said, nah, nah, nah. I, I was a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> you know, my stroke game was a little bit too hard. I'm sorry, I'm going to be a little bit more gentle next time. <laughs> she said, but no, that's the bad thing. It's exactly what I wanted. He over there he blushing. Like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so then she, then she said, but you know what? I do have something I need to talk to you about. I don't do crazy ex-wives. So them flowers? What the fuck oh, was that? that's crazy. Uh-uh. If she's capable of that, what else is she capable of? And the devil in the black dress showed up right on time. Sitting there and sat at the table with him. And stir it out. She said, oh, wouldn't you like to know? I said, <laughs> see, I can't, I can't do it. With and next week we go see, they going to be in the elevators fighting like Fight. Beyonce, Solange, 
and Jay Z. I said, it's too much going on. They gonna be fighting like which caller we know at the courthouse. <laughs> Not touching that because they probably watching this review. <laughs> we know. I wish I could really tell some of the stories that we really know, no, no. Just know that, because that we didn't actually see it, but we were told that there was a fight at the courthouse. That tennis was playing. Yeah, between somebody that was like real young and somebody that was real old, and they was duking it out at the courthouse. Because and, the older man left the wife of equal age for the younger girl Erica. Yeah, and she won't about play she won't she won't about that life. She won't play with Demonica. So they got to fight at the courthouse. Ooh, that's a parallel story. But anyway, yeah. it wasn't much tonight. So hopefully we gave you something to work with. I'm gonna go do my feet exercise and get in this yeah. this, this brace. The little foot brace you got down. Uh so straight from the VA. The dirty dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.